welcome back to my channel. Today I am wearing a wig that's a little bit different from what I normally do. This is a budget-friendly wig from a company called The Wig Company. They have a few house brands. They sell all the major brands as well, but they have a few house brands, and this particular one comes from a brand that they have called The Statements Line, and this wig is called Rock Me. So I went, I, I wanted to order this wig because I wanted to try something that was budget friendly. I get questions all the time from women asking me if I know of budget friendly brands that are similar to the big brands that are more expensive. So I decided I would order one of these wigs and grand total for this girl was $46. So really, really good. I looked at it on the website and I noticed it had a mono part, it had a lace front and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna try this out and see, just see what I think of it. So, and I am really, really pleased. It is very cute. I put it on my Instagram and I had a lot of questions. So I thought I have to review this because I have to get this out there and show it to people. I wasn't sure if I was gonna review it initially. So anyway, so really, really cute. So her color is 829, which is a medium brown with what they say is a, they call it a warm medium brown with a caramel um, highlight running through it. I actually see more than just one highlight, but maybe that's just my eye. Um, it almost looks like it kind of has a light blonde along with the caramel brown, but maybe I'm just seeing that. I don't know if that's showing in the camera, but really, really pretty well-placed highlights. She was a little bit glossy, you know, a little bit shiny. And so I did spray her with some dry shampoo, but that's not something that I don't do on more expensive brands too. So that's not something unusual. So really cute. So let me talk about her measurements. So here in the front, she is nine inches. And then from the top, 14 inches, uh, 13 inches on the sides, and then 13 and a half inches in the back. And then she is 15 inches in the very back. She gets long. So she's 15 inches at the nape and that is just barely past the bra strap, ladies. So um, she is long, but I like these front layers. These are the ones that sort of lay over more, you know, in the front, and I like this length, so there's a possibility I may trim her a little bit in the back or something, you know, in the future, but we'll see. I haven't made any decisions about that right now, but she's really, really cute. So let me show you her lace front. The lace front, I'm, I'm really pleased with. Now the lace, is not as wide as what I see on more expensive brands, I will say that. But, so the lace front goes from about here to here. But it's not bad, it's, it's enough lace. And the knots look pretty good. So, I mean, I'm just pleasantly surprised with it. And then the part, the part is thin, but, you know, you could pluck it a little bit if you want to, but I think it's fine. It actually reminds me of the part that's on my Brooklyn wig. My Brooklyn wig has a skinnier part like that, and I don't know, I just think it looks realistic. You get the appearance of scalp coming through there. So, you know, really nice. Now the ear tabs are one place where I found it to be a little flimsy. As you can see, it pulls away from my face. So I think to wear this wig, I would feel more comfortable with a little piece of tape on each ear tab and just, you know, sticking it down so I don't have to worry about just if I run my fingers through the hair, I don't have to worry about it lifting like that. See where you can see, you know, underneath the wig there. That would just keep it in place and I can run my fingers through it and not have to worry about it. The fibers themselves are really nice. Like I said, they were a little bit shiny and I sprayed them with dry shampoo and I've done that with more expensive brands as well. So that's not something terribly unusual. And that took some of the shine out. And probably once I give her a wash one time, that shine's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a very normal sheen to the wig. That's normally what happens. So, so really cute. So let me do a turn so you can see her from all sides. So here's the front. My right side. The back. Left side and then back to the front. So really, really cute, like I said. Now I'll show you a little closer up on the ear tabs because I kind of went into their lifting without showing. I do think that the metal, I can tell a difference. You know, I can tell it's a lower priced wig because the metal in the ear tab is a, is, it's a really thin little piece there. So that's another reason why I say that I would probably put a, just a little piece of tape there 
and just tape that ear tab down. But the coverage on the ear tabs is great. There's a lot of hair sewn into the front of the ear tab and I'll show you that um, when I pop the cap off. But it fits great. So fits really nicely around my ear. Once I put a little piece of tape on there, I, you know, I think it's gonna stay right where it needs to be. So, you know, and I would, I would expect a budget wig to have a few little things like that, that, um, you know, just where she may just need a little, a little extra help there. So that's not surprising to me. So let me pop her off and I will show you the inside of the cap. So, like I said, she has left side mono part, temple to temple, ear tab to ear tab. The ear tabs are long, so that's why I say that the lace across here doesn't feel like to me like it's as quite as wide, but it's very close to any other, you know, any other brand wig. So closed lace up here. She does have permatease, but it's just that teasing that's just right at the root, so it's not too bad. She's She's, I consider her fairly low density. So here's the ear tab, and this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of hair that's sewn onto that ear tab, but that just gives you a natural, you know, natural appearance of hair there. And then, like I said, those stays, uh, those metal stays are about that long, but it's a thin piece of metal. So they are, uh, you know, the velvety, um, soft felt, whatever that material is. She does have an extended nape. She has my favorite kind of uh, adjusters velcro and they are I adjusted them one time and they are staying in place really impressed with that so nice cap construction pop her back on here okay okay get her back in place now I think she would be also more comfortable with me with a wig grip on but just for the purposes of the video it's easier if I'm just wearing a cap by itself so she's moving around a little bit but she's fitting my head pretty well now that I have adjust her adjusted so I think for $40 she is a really a nice wig I mean she's motocrylic fiber synthetic fiber just like any other synthetic wig um, just the color's pretty, the shade is not weird or anything, you know, I mean, I'm just saying these are the things that I would be concerned with with a budget wig is, are the fibers gonna feel weird? Are they gonna be dry and crunchy or, you know. Now, I just got her, so I, you know, I don't know how long she'll, her fibers will hold up. Maybe I'll update that later on, but, um, you know, I think for $40, <laughs> she's pretty impressive so I'll put a link below um, uh, in the comment section to where you can purchase her and I just want to say thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below and I'll keep bringing more content and until next time don't forget you're beautiful bye